be making basics. What's up, YouTube? Be making basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe because we're coming back to back with bangers. Today's video, we're gonna be checking out the session player in Logic Pro 11. All right, just checking it out for the first time, checking out you know honest thoughts and opinions and everything like that. Um, so let's go ahead and look at it. Basically, I'm gonna start off with this keyboard player. Um, this is how it looks in Logic. I I'm so used to saying Logic Pro 10 but it's not 10 no more, it's 11, so it's just gonna keep on going. But basically, we're gonna select this and just check this out here. All right. I am noticing that, like, you know, it's kind of lagging a little bit. So I don't know if anybody else who has a Logic Pro 11 is dealing with that, but like, look at this, spinning wheel of death. I don't really have too much open here. Um literally it's taking kind of forever to load stuff Let me just quit all this other stuff here yeah see look at this it's taking way too long for this to load this keyboard player in my personal opinion but we'll have to look at some i mean it could be a lot of reasons why it's taking so long but um i might have to reset my computer to be honest with you so So it sounds pretty dope. Um, obviously you have these different presets here, basic different melodies. So we got that and then pretty much you can come over here and obviously as you can see you know adjust this stuff one thing i thought was dope you got like the left hand and right hand here i can turn that right hand or left hand off so that gives you the flexibility on some of this stuff And when, with that flexibility, you can take different parts of the melodies and then incorporate that into your own production, which I think is pretty dope. Obviously, you can take this and make it more complex, you know, or not. You feel me? Add more voices to it. You feel me? Let's check it out. Yeah, I'm not. This 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 uh this actually this keyboard player is pretty hard. Yeah, sound like a, you know real keyboard player for sure. You can affect the gray notes, how many of those are in there, the feel, the nan nat, just give me the dynamics. We can humanize it some more. Let's humanize it a little more. Then you can also step in and create a manual pattern. I'm not gonna really do that in this video, um, but you can do that. So let's look at some things here. I'm just gonna push control and then bounce it in place. We'll turn it into like a um, wave file. And now what we do is we could take this and put this into the quick sampler, manipulate it from there. See what it sounds like reversed. So, you know, with a little bit of creativity, this is gonna be a pretty dope tool. 
Um, I'm just going to go ahead and just cover just the keyboard player for right now. Um, obviously, you have other options here. You can go with uh, more session players, but I think the main point I want us to look at is the is the is the keyboard player because you know it's all pretty cool. You are, we already know what the drummer can do, but um, yeah, look look at this. It's taking forever to load. I'm gonna reset my computer, not reset it, but restart my computer and see if it's if it loads quicker. But yeah, I, I suppose you know you got the same vibe coming here with this uh, bass player. that's hard man yeah you can come in here pretty much um, manually do stuff affect any details come through here this is pretty dope you can change the rhythm here give it a whole new vibe So I lied. We're gonna actually look at all of the session <laughs> session players. Might as well. Um, drummer. I don't think I'm gonna go with trap. We can go. Actually, let's let's try it with a boom bap. Let's see what it does. All right, cool. So we got a boom bap beat. <laughs> So this is pretty dope. I mean, you can also come in here and change out these sounds to make this sound even better. We can also come over here and add some distortion. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm like after this video, I'm gonna reset my computer to see um, why or maybe if that fixes this whole debacle with this spinning thing here. I mean, I have plenty of space on here; it shouldn't be doing that. But just a little, as far as my like initial review of this, this is dope. You know, what I mean, 
gives us some flexibility. We can come in here and just grab certain parts of stuff, you know, turn off certain things. This gives us the ability to, you know, incorporate certain elements from from these in into your, your your beats to make it your own, especially on the piano. Like I think that's pretty dope. I can just come over here, turn certain parts off. Anyway, y'all, let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section below. Also, make sure you go ahead and join uh, the members only um, part of this channel. We drop you know, lots of you know exclusive videos on there. Head over to my site, bemakingbases.com. Check out what we got going on over there. Courses, kits, you know, all types of good stuff. Um, and then, yeah, man, just let me know what videos y'all want to see. Put it in the comment section, man. This actually is a pretty dope option and advancement that they uh, added to Logic Pro. So I'm excited about using this and doing more videos. So stay tuned. Appreciate y'all. I'll see you in the next one. We're out.